Today is Ohad Zikrai's birthday. He turns nine years old. But we will not be having birthday celebrations like most young children. You see, he's being held hostage in Gaza. Our correspondent Jody Cohen brings you this report, which includes classified footage of the 7th of October massacre by Hamas. Some of the stuff she saw has not been made public out of consideration for the families of the victims. We advise our viewers that some of the shots that you are about to see may be distressing. Ohad Zichri is an Israeli boy who is one of the approximately 30 children and babies being held hostage by terrorists in Gaza. He was taken on the 7th of October by Hamas along with his mother Karen and his grandparents. It's thought that up to 250 people have been taken hostage, over 200 of whom are Israeli, with the rest coming from up to 40 different countries. And it's known that 1,400 people did not make it out of the massacre alive. On your screen are just some of the images from Hamas's massacre that have been released. There are plenty that have not. I was shown classified footage from the body cameras of Hamas terrorists who infiltrated into Israel and were caught. The video clips also include CCTV images and show just some of the atrocities they committed. The images are horrific beyond imagination, with women, children and even babies having been shown no mercy. Israel Defense Forces General Mickey Edelstein addressed the group. Jody Cohen, we on. We've seen the horrific images of what the Hamas terrorists did to Israeli civilians and other civilians in the area. From the CCTV, from their GoPro footage, what can you tell us from the CCTV in the region about the welfare of the hostages that were taken back into Gaza? I'm not sure that the welfare is the right word to use. Some of them, you know, were taken on motorbike. Some of them were, were you saw the pickup, how they took the people uh, on the pickup, or other vehicles. And uh, on the way, some of them, they still, uh, uh, let's say, they, they use their rifles against them. They shoot them, some of them. It's hard to describe what I have just witnessed. Hardened veteran journalists in the briefing in tears, some having to leave the room, not being able to take any more. Amid cries of Allah Akbar and the incessant sound of shooting, I saw Hamas terrorists celebrating their killing. I saw a young boy screaming, questioning why he was still alive after his father had been killed before his eyes, while a Hamas terrorist helps himself to a drink from the family fridge. I saw a beheading, the blood streaked floor, a baby full of bullet holes and burnt bodies looking like pieces of meat. While there is no hope for the 1,400 victims of this massacre, there could still be hope for the hostages currently being held in Gaza. Two American citizens who were visiting Israel have been released. The US is reportedly advising Israel to delay its expected ground operation to try to get further hostages released through diplomacy. Failing that, it is expected that the Israel Defense Forces will do what they can to dismantle Hamas's terror infrastructure and attempt to release hostages by going building to building in search of them. In the meantime, nine-year-old Ohad Zichri's brother prays that Ohad should stay strong and know that his family loves him. This is Jody Cohen for We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.